only way to create an exhibition of the situation is, is you have to take the notion into your own heart and redesign it accordingly with your own soul. From now on, DeVore said, the art of the future will be the creation of situations or nothing. The situation is they wanted, they wanted to devaluate everything which was a part of the modern society and for sure for them art market, art dealing with art was something that should be ruined. They want to not only negate art but as the, in the way De Boer put it also realize it which is to say make of daily life a creative continuously original delirious ecstatic experience. The Situationist International was an artistic and political movement active in Europe from 1957 through 1972. Situationists were those post-war bohemians we imagine living in continental cafes, who like the Surrealists before them and Baudelaire's plein air, wandered through the Parisian streets and stumbled upon spontaneous, continuous, ever-changing experience. Concerned with the increasing commercialization of the art world, the commodification of goods, and the apathy of modern urban life, the Situationists placed their faith in youthful revolt and agitation. The Situationist International was formed in 1957 at Cosio di Orosia, a small picturesque town in northern Italy, out of the remains of a number of avant-garde groups. The principal members of the Situationist International were artists and writers, the French theorist and filmmaker Guy Debord, who had led the Lettrist International, and the former Cobra artists, Oscar Jorn from Denmark, and Constant from Holland. The Italian painter Giuseppe Pino Galizio had been part of the movement for an imaginist Bauhaus. Perceiving that alienation in society was a result of the domination of the individual by the mass media and consumerism, the Situationist International did not proclaim itself as a political movement, but was interested in the construction of moments of life and in replacing passivity and doubt with playful affirmation. The word situationist denoted activity that aimed at making situations. What could be transformed into a situation? It could be an epic or a moment of an individual's life. From 1957 through 1972, they published journals and books, held exhibitions, made films, sprawled graffiti on city walls, subverted and created comics, and helped detonate the student revolts of May 1968 in Paris. The members of the Situationist International were aesthetic and political renegades who wanted nothing less than to change the world. International and after them the Situationists had two techniques that they believed were keys to changing the world. These were very tiny, almost paltry techniques. One was the derive, which means the drift, and that meant people wandering through cities, being simply pulled by the attractions that you could find in a city, or repulsed by things that were ugly and hateful, simply letting the, the city itself its streets, its buildings, its ambiance, its mini climates, guide you, draw you down, making you see the city that you lived in in an utterly new way. This was a way of discovering utopia, of discovering what you hated, what you loved. Another technique was detournement, which was cut up, which was collage, which was juxtaposition, which was the refusal of original creation. It was the belief that everything that needed to be said was already there, waiting to be picked up. It only had to be put together in new ways to let people see the world in new ways. In 1957, Guy Debord and Oscar Jorn collaborated on a collage book called Memoirs, which brought together the two techniques of 
des Ries and des Tournements. The book is made up of fragments taken from books, newspapers, magazines, photographs, advertisements, cartoons, comics, and more. Since the Situationist International were the heirs of the Lettres, the mood of the early Situationists is encapsulated in the book. It is a remarkably powerful book because you can feel people drifting through their city. You can feel them seeing the city in a new way. The Situationists developed other concepts, of which the most significant were unitary urbanism, that is, integrated city creation, or an interest in games played on urban sites, and psychogeography, play as free and creative activity. Believing that the political had become lost in the repetitive gestures of every day, that lived experience had been transformed into spectacle, desire into consumption, the Situationists constructed situations in order to actively recapture and transform everyday life. Through art making and theorizing, they aimed at the subversion of what Guy Debord called the society of the spectacle. In this book, the board described how capitalist societies complemented the increasing fragmentation of everyday life, including labor, with the nightmarishly false unity of the spectacle, passively consumed by the alienated workers. De Boer has said that the spectacle is capital accumulated to such a degree that it becomes an image, and that in societies where modern conditions of production prevail, all of life, presents itself as an immense accumulation of spectacles. <laughs>